20 for the women and the men. Now it's time to go to the T11, which is the worst of the visually impaired athletes, so it means they all run with a guide. Cheng Jin of China, defending champion and also Paralympic champion. Rodriguez Saavedra of Mexico. Fifth in the 2015 championships, also consistent in fifth last year in Rio. Felipe Modesto Eustazio, third guide. Margarita Fernandez of Chile. Bronze back in 2015 in the T13 category, over 1,500. She's now in the T11, reclassified. Francisco Munoz, third guide. Zheng Jin of China, gold at the Paralympics in Rio last year, also defending champion here, goes with Wang Zhipeng. This lady was disqualified in 2016 in Rio. Luzanne Kurtzi, eighth though in Doha two years ago with the Connie Voigt as her guide. Maritza Arango Butrago. What now they she is the Colombian bronze back in 2016, silver in Doha two years ago with Jonathan Debs Sanchez for Gonzalez as her guide. And then Joanna Mazur, European champion over 200 minutes. She's qualified for the final as a fastest loser. Normally over the shorter distances, she goes to Mihal Stavitsky. And she's already been the 200 and the 400 metres in these championships. So Zhang Jin holds both the world record and the championship record. The world in Rio last year, the championship record set in Doha back in 2015. And away they get straight away. And heading towards the front, Zhang finds herself in second position there, but it's... Uh, Rango Petrago, who moves straight to the front with Zheng in second place and Joanna Mazur of Poland taking up the running in third as they're all spread out in a lovely even line at the moment but you don't expect that to last for too long and this is a category where the guides really play a massive part in what happens because they need to control the pace they need to look at what's happening behind because this is the complete visually compared where they have to be completely blindfolded with patches over their eyes as well just to be sure so at the present it's Arango Petrago of Colombia who leads with Zheng Jin of China the world and championship record holder as they go through the first 300 meters Zheng Jin stalking our leader she's the reigning Asian world and Paralympic champion Arango Petrago still leading them out of the moment lady who's won silver medals at the last two world championships over 15 and 800 meters a bronze on the 800 also in doha and a bronze in the 1500 in the four by one still holding firm at the moment past the 400 meter mark with a guide jonathan sanchez but changing alongside her guide wang Zipeng in a great position long way back to the south african luan curtsy in third place Never won a major championship medal. She's come close a few times to South Africa. And then in fourth, the pole, Joanna Mazur, the double European champion. But we're talking about 200 metres. She won silver in the walk in Grosseto last year in those Europeans. She's been overtaken by the Mexican Monica Rodriguez Saavedra, who's now uh, taken up that place into fourth. Somewhat of a sedate pace across the entire field right now not much of a gap slightly sprung out and now the opportunity for Zheng Jin to move up a little on the outside with two laps to go and a moment to overtake a running of a tiger maybe on the way well Wang Ji Peng a guy tried to pull her on a little bit and try and make her go around the outside but then they seem to slow her back down again so perhaps at the moment it's just a case of wanting to wait and try a little bit further around the corner but it's Arango Petrago who still leads as she has for the entirety of this race so far but as the world and Paralympic champion Zheng Jin with her guide Wang Ji Peng who is second place and then Curtsy of South Africa disqualified back in 2016 in Rio, she is in the bronze medal position at the moment. Then there's a gap of around 15 metres back to Joanna Mazur of Poland, who is currently retained 
fourth place or reclaim fourth place, I should say. But at the moment, Jean looks very comfortable in second place. She will make a run for it at some point. You can guarantee that with around 500 metres remaining. Maritza and Rango Petrago. Bronze in this event last year then is still out in front. And we've seen what's happened in the previous two races in the T20 category. Those who have been out in front, maybe not by this smaller margin, but they've been caught eventually. Will that happen now as they come round to take the bell to Rango Petrago with around 400 metres to go, who leads and Zheng Jin may well make a move for it now. At the bell, it's Aranga Petrago who still leads second place, Shang Jin, but for how much longer? Here comes the move on the outside from the Chinese, the reigning Asian world, and Paralympic champion into the front with 350 minutes to go. Aranga Petrago still fighting in second. Kurtz are trying to take her position now. Cuts in third for South Africa. Moving up the fourth, Ioana Mazur is between these four for the gold, silver and bronze. But in another big move, Aranga Petrago on the outside. She hits the front. Here comes Kurtz on the outside. We thought Cheng Jin had it. The big move made there. Kurtz on the outside trying to take up second place. Aranga Petrago of Colombia still in the lead with Cheng in second place. And a third Kurtz. And Mazur's not gone away. Mazur trying to make a big move on the outside. Such a small space. Eight bodies there. The gold is up for grabs. It could be anybody's. Aranga Matraga, great guts for her. It's Mazur on the outside. Mazur coming up in a second place. Zeng's being overtaken. Is it going to be Mazur? Mazur's going to win it. Mazur propelled Aranga Matraga in second place. And Zeng in third. That is incredible. Joanna Mazur wins the gold for Poland. Aranga Machago second, Zheng in third. That's an astonishing finish. And Joanna Mazur comes from nowhere to win the gold for Poland. 450.95, a lifetime best. And Aranga Machago led for a long time, was overtaken by Sheng Jin, fought back for the lead and then found herself overtaken at the end by Mazur, who was fifth for a long time. Fifth with 200 metres to go. And Joanna Mazur, for the first time, is the world champion. What a victory. And what makes it even more remarkable is she normally competes over those shorter distances. We've seen her already in the two and the 400. She qualified for this as a fastest loser. Incredible. But she looked like she was gone there. She was way back in fourth or fifth position at one point. But I think I mentioned over the past couple of days, I talked about her guy, Michal Stavitsky. He has played a massive part in what she's done in this race. And I mentioned the guys earlier how important they are in this. You can see him talking away to her and telling her to get out in front of him. And she does exactly that. The guides are very, very important in this T11 category. And he helped her in that race to absolute fantastic result. So Majula takes their gold in a lifetime best.